Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today we celebrate the feast of the presentation of the Lord. And I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2, verses 22 through 32. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. All glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of the presentation of the Lord with a festival of light. Candles are blessed, and they are carried in procession to welcome Christ, the light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of his people. Until the year 1969, this feast, which is of Eastern origin, was known in the West as the Feast of the Purification of Our Lady, and also as the Feast of Candlemas. Now we prefer to refer to it as the presentation of the Lord. Forty days after the birth of Jesus, today's celebration brings the Christmas season to a close. I should say that in the United States, we close the Christmas season on the second Sunday after Epiphany or the baptism of the Lord. It was a Jewish belief that because of the bleeding, a mother was ritually unclean after giving birth and hence was in need of ritual purification. On giving birth to a son, a Jewish woman would be in semi-seclusion for 40 days. In the case of a girl, the period was longer. At the end of that period, the mother would then, in the case of her firstborn, present him to the Lord in acknowledgement of his being source of all life. Firstborn animals were also presented in sacrifice to God. So in today's feast, we see Mary and Joseph, 40 days after the birth of Jesus, submitting to the law of Moses and bringing their son to be offered as the firstborn to God and for the purification of the mother after giving birth, even though we believe that Mary did not need such purification. 
For the ceremony, they have come up from Nazareth to the temple in Jerusalem. Today's feast brings an end to a whole period which resonates with a sense of light. Christmas itself takes place just after the winter solstice in the celebration of the end of the darkness of winter and the coming of light into the world, especially the light of the world, Jesus himself. Twelve days later, there is a feast of the Epiphany when the light of a star guides the Magi to pay homage to the light of the world. Then today, we bring the celebration to a close with this feast of light. It has long been a day for processions as we remember the Lord's entry into the temple, the house of his father, for the first time. These processions originally replaced pagan celebrations. Later, it was identified with the blessing of candles carried in procession to and in honor of Christ, the light for revelation to the Gentiles. Do we always remember that Jesus is the light in our lives? Something to ponder on this day. And hey, don't forget, go get your candles blessed. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him in friendship. Let us complete a divine reading now with a closing prayer and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And also, pass the links along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all, and have a great day.